Aries, welcome to the jungle, uh, uh, the new casa in Cancun. I think it's set up here. So hopefully you can see me all right. Hopefully you can hear the birds. It's evening, okay? Run a little behind. This year, November, heart spread. Welcome. If you haven't checked out the Soul Family Read, I'll put a link in the description below. That's a collective read for whoever resonates. This reading is for whoever's on your mind and whoever's in your heart. That's who it's going to pick up on. Don't necessarily have to be with them. It's just going to pick up who's there in your heart. Put her aside for a minute, the High Priestess, Hollow Bone. Wouldn't mind channeling the High Priestess. All right, it's a beautiful evening. Beautiful evening. Who's on your mind? What can Spirit tell us in the name of light and love? So it serves the greatest good only. That is really helpful. Mm -hmm. Give real help here, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Probably our Aries knows their situation. What can we say it's helpful? We have advice, comparison, advice from spirit for the outcome. You as a couple, if there is a couple, how it gets to it. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That always bodes well. I kind of count the bottom of the deck now a little bit in heart spreads. I did it before. Um, so it's kind of steady Eddie energy. Um, something going on here it's not uh, f uh flighty mm -hmm. wow aries and you come in with the strength card and um you're gonna have leo somewhere in your chart you know i'm a third deacon sagittarius i have leo in my chart um if you're a second deacon Aries, you would have Leo in your chart just by your sun degree. Um, but this is a very powerful energy to come in with the fifth house, confidence. It's where you have romance, fun, creativity, sports, play, childbearing too, child rearing, child, children, growth. It's Leo, it's the height of summer. When if, you know, fish are jumping and the cotton is high, right? The old blues song. And your person, well, this actually matches pretty good. Six of Wands. Who would meet such a fetching young lass as this? Very young strength card. As strength cards go, I know with the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot deck here. Um. And that line of hers just looks like a kitty. <laughs> yeah, playful kitty, loving kitty, six of wands. Note the laurels. Huh? And the phrase, resting of the laurels. I don't know about that yet, but... <coughs> you would be with the strength card, Aries, feeling very confident, strong, sexy, healthy, particularly... People would be saying that you're hot. People would be noticing you. Hey, I mean, they might literally ask you things like, hey, Aries, have you been working out? They'd be getting that kind of thing. Um, feeling really good about yourself. And then comes along a six of wands. And this can be someone who's very beautiful. Also, I think kind of matches your energy here. Someone's physically very healthy and athletic. Um, the this implies to me a very powerful sexual dynamic. And remember, we have Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so there's some kind of chaperone here, but the strength card to the Six of Wands is uh, eyes lock across a crowded room, and it's like kaboom. You're, you're in love right there. You're in lust, at least. You're, you're in something. You're, you ain't going to let it go. Either one of you ain't gonna let it go. You're gonna look into each other's eyes and you're gonna, something's gonna have to happen now. This is like what this is. Very, very magnetic, man. 
And I think there's some kind of underlying energy if there's something to this. It's more than just a flash in the pan, as it were. Don't you know it? Because now we look at what you're feeling towards your person. How are they making you feel? This is just looking at you, and you want to give them <laughs> your ace of cups. I mean, that very simply means you want to tell them I love you. You may have already told them I love you. To go from the strength to the ace of the cups is beautiful, and it's very natural, and it shows a very strong attraction. You know, I typically read new relationships. This could be something that's ongoing, you know, for who knows how long. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. It's slow, slow. Steady Eddie here. Three of Pentacles. And they meet this with the Three of Pentacles. Wow. I'm just trying to think how, how many ways I want to split this off that this could be. I say, first of all, in the illuminated tarot deck here, um, they don't emphasize this is so much as the worker card. It's about cooperation. You see they're cooperating there, looking at something, discussing, you know, the plans about building it. Very much about cooperation. And so you have to look at the me meaning of this position, which is, we're asking spirit here, how is this person experiencing you? how do they feel about you and they want to collaborate and I don't think that means necessarily in work um, it might mean that there's with them having three pinnacles there's something they have to juggle and I don't really mean another relationship could be a mama daddy type of deal where they have interactions with the spouse and responsibilities and pinnacles and have to take action but I get with this a, a very positive response you know this might have been pretty quick and I think they they may have been as surprised as you and I think you with the ace cups may have jumped to the I love you first but I think they were like down and then things wheels started going in their head and they're like all the things I got to take care of to uh, make this happen with my Aries telling you your advice king of wands pour it fucking on how could you not this is advice from spirit for you aries towards your person this is how this is supposed to be read and my god man you're you're the king of uh, wands here um this is a be confident i mean the strength card you've given your cup of love don't back up uh and this has the lions uh, on the um throne leo energy be brave. Brave is very important. Be bold. You were first. Uh, go for it. Fire it up. Um, I tell you, all of it, just really, this is like not time to hold back. Not time to hold back emotionally. Ace of Cups over the King of Wands. Not time to hold back sexually, honestly. Not time to hold back. This is time to pour it the fuck on, Aries, frankly. I mean, how cool is that for you? Don't you like to pour it on? Burn. This is time to burn. That's what your side's saying. And your your person though, man. <sighs> they're gonna have to get they're gonna have to get accustomed to your fire. Seven of Cups now for them. So they're having a difficult time. And I think this since this is advice for spirit, um, for for your person towards you, um, it's the, uh, they call it a gang of parrots. Uh, they are quite rowdy, quite rowdy. They maraud for food, they call it. And they're well uh, named. But so, Seven of Cups, so uh, your advice or spirits, your person's like, you, you need to get um, real uh, about these pinnacles. Um, I think your person's really going to have a hard time wrapping wrapping up the things they need to wrap up they're not you're like in this position like a cat Aries with all this Leo energy you're just ready to pounce you know and your person here has uh, got some layers to unwrap and things um, and uh, I'm going to clarify let me clarify there's seven of cups okay 
Wow, nice swords. Very much so. Look, you got the Seven of Cups. Just look, forget tarot. You don't know anything about tarot. Just look at those pictures there. And, like, with, how does that make you feel? This is a... Think of the, what this is about. Is How do they feel about you? What are they thinking about you? Okay? They're kind of fucked up in the head. And I think because they realize they're, they've got this stuff to take care of. And you're, like, coming in so hot and fast and clear. You know? And it's got them up at nights worrying about it. And this is, like... Combined with this, it's like, man, I, I just can't figure this out. I keep going around and around. Your emotions in your mind, your emotions. Well, your mind leads your emotions, right? You're thinking about something. Here. Your PTSD starts. Now your heart's pounding. Now you got the sympathetic nervous system acting. Yeah, and now you've got anxiety. So their person's uh, there. But I, I just feel like this is kind of uh, maybe they feel like just they don't. They haven't really talked. Have they talked to you about this? That's the question here. Maybe they haven't really talked to you about how this is all affecting them, and maybe they're afraid. I mean, it's a way you, you're pouring it all in. You know, I think you're pouring it all in. So just make sure you're not, uh, uh, you don't realize. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're holding back. And I don't think they're holding back like out of fucking cheating or anything like that. They're holding back because they, they just sort of don't understand. It feels like a dude over here. I'm sorry. You're not supposed to say that, but. <laughs> they just don't understand how to deal with feelings and there's all this stuff probably with their people and I get it and you know um, and it's like maybe they don't know how to talk to you about it and so maybe share this you know okay. I talk to them about it you know and um, try to get them to open up because you know I think you know how to um, and let me see what the advice from spirit is yeah come on guys this is the advice from spirit for relationship as a whole lock it up it's the king of pentacles this is to give it the highest priority. Now, you're over here with advice of the King of Wands. And i got to be honest with you, that's kind of let it go a little bit, Aries. Your advice, I mean, this is pretty fucking cool. I don't make this stuff up. It's just here. I'm just reading it. And the advice of spirit, lucky you, is to fucking just wind it up and let it go. Have some fun, really. Honestly, that's all it's about. Now, for the relationship as a whole. It's about creating a long-term, solid, balanced relationship here in this position. That's what the King of Pentacles means. Yeah. Financially, too, bringing pinnacles together. That may be part of their issues. They have three pinnacles here. I mean, it could have child support. They could. I mean, there's so many things. That that could be. It's not like they don't love you. Or it's, that's not it. Uh, opposite, you know, but they're. Uh, I just need to talk to you now. <laughs> talk, really. That's what this all amounts to. And the outcome is the Empress. Okay. Wow. Now that is a beautiful outcome for a heart spread. And that came out upright. The Empress card. Um, so it takes the shape of a heart here. And you've got the King of Pentacles uh, under the Empress here as an outcome. I, you just can't get any more solid than that. So I think like if your person's cross-watching or if you, you know, link this to them, I want them to understand that this energy is like it's going to be dealt with. I mean, this is a wrap. I don't know. Sometimes that might help. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but you don't have to be in the Nine of Swords energy and all torn up about it because it's all right, man. Like, here's the thing. Like, I talk about it on my Facebook page or something about the, the, you know, astral train. Like, this is already done in the astral world and it's coming. Maybe it hasn't hit you in the 5D yet. But it's a done deal. So if it's a done deal, why worry about it? There's nothing to worry about, really. And um, you end up with a really solid empress relationship. Um, so all of that passion gets translated with this king energy and the, your cups here. And you know, your person's trying to do the right thing, trying to be balanced. So they're bringing in solid pinnacle energy, too. And you got a great outcome here, Aries. Thank you, guys. Give me a like, thumbs up. You know the drill. <laughs> Hit the bell. And please do subscribe. Uh, helps a lot. Tell a friend, tell a friend.